Care Connect. Just want to talk to you today about a subject that can make or break your surgical numbers. Truly, it's don't judge a book by its cover. We're all guilty of that. You're guilty of judging your employees when they come in for interviews by the way they appear. Um, they may have a lot of talent underneath those tattoos. <laughs> um, if you're from my age group, you look at tattoos and go, ah, you know, Marines, sailors, you know, whatever. But, um, but that's not the case anymore. Gray hair is in. Who knew? And I'm still, you know, color of mine. But anyway, don't be that person that judges that book by the cover. When that patient comes in to see you, they're ready to have surgery. They're ready to be in your hands. They're ready for you to make them comfortable. Um, they're ready for you to listen to them and find out who they are and if surgery is appropriate for them. And if yes, then which surgery best fits their lifestyle? So you need to get to know their lifestyle. Don't judge their lifestyle or them before you get to know them. I'm gonna urge you to really talk with your counselors about this or seek some training for your counselors so that they look at a person as a candidate and every person that walks in your door is a candidate for something. Whether it's an eye refraction or a dry eye treatment or a surgery, every patient that walks in your door is, is a candidate for something. So it needs to start from the beginning, the phone call all the way to the day of surgery and follow it through with your post-op. Make sure that patient still knows your name two years from now when someone says, you had LASIK, who did that? Because I can tell you right now, if you ask people on the street or in a restaurant, whatever, who did their LASIK? If it's greater than two to three years out, most of them can't remember the surgeon's name. Be memorable. Don't have them judge you by your cover either. Remember that cover. Make it be something that's special.